Hello YouTube, this is a video write-up for the challenge Cookie Monster for 10 points on TJCTF or the most recent Capture the Flag competition that was going on. The challenge prompt is, the Cookie Monster is not a fan of horses. It gives us a link here, and this is a web challenge, so if we check out this link, it is an ASCII image of a horse, and it has that nice infinite scrolling, so <laughs> it's an infinite horse. Awesome. Um, this challenge is called Cookie Monster, right? So I would expect to be tinkering with cookies or HTTP cookies, how they're storing, how a website is storing information on your computer, etc. Um, so there are a lot of browser plugins that let you take a look at these. Uh, I'm on Google Chrome right now. You could be on Firefox. Um, but again, the browser plugins you may want to be looking for. One is called Edit This Cookie. That's one I know that will work on Chrome. I think Firefox has Cookie Manager Plus, etc., etc. But once it's added to Chrome, you can just see it up on the top right of your browser. Um, so this cookie picture here is edit this cookie, and I can see that, okay, they do have a flag cookie with the value TJCTF cookies over horses, and we could go ahead and submit that if we wanted to. What I had done when I was tinkering with this was I wanted to try and create a get flag script, but someone will have to tell me why I'm being stupid here or what is wrong, because I was not actually able to get the flag out of this. Um, I did my simple, like, Python scripts. I would use the request module. I would create this URL as just a variable, go ahead and make a request with it. And I would actually just create a session. I tried it with both a session and just a regular request, where I would go ahead and get the page, create a URL request to it, get the response, and then I would want to see, okay, do I have any cookies in this session now? And I'll close it at the very end just to be proper. If I go ahead and run this, you can see I have a cookie jar with a cookie, but just the Cloud Fair user ID, not the flag that we saw earlier. And I guess I'm curious why that is. I haven't seen that act up before. But again, if any of you are smarter than me or can make this, like even if I just use a regular response request, sorry. I still do not get the f cookie and the flag that I'm expecting. I just get the cloud for ID. So interesting. Didn't know if any of you had a solution or knew something about that, but we still get the flag with just a simple manual browser plugin. We can submit that and we're good. Up 10 points. Hey, I want to give a shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you so, so much for your generous uh, help. Uh, it's incredible to me and honestly surreal that you guys are willing to go on this journey with me. Just a stupid kid degenerate trying to solve imaginary problems for imaginary points for imaginary bragging rights. So that's neat. <laughs> hey, uh, $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it is deployed, made public. And uh, hey, if you like this video and want to see more Capture the Flag write-ups, video write-ups, programming tutorials, other stuff that I do, please do like this video, maybe comment if you're willing to subscribe, and it, yeah, that really helps me out. Please, if you want to join the community, if you want to hang out with me or do some capture the flags like this with me and other cool people, join our Discord server. Link is in the description. It's awesome. A really great community of other CCF players, hackers, and programmers. Hey, if you're willing to support me on Patreon, that would be incredible. But in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.